Andren C, how do you adjust the GTO open raise range at deeper stack depth, like 20 big blinds versus read list recreational? How do you adjust GTO open raise range at deeper stack slope? Would you still open raise hands like 5-2 suited or 9-7 off that are the top of folding range, that are the top folding range versus standard, not only nicer shots? Yeah, sure. Absolutely, you can. Absolutely. I, I, I min raise a lot of a lot of those specific type of hands that are like at the top of my at the uh, <laughs> I'm just noticing you guys are able to see the Conor McGregor dance now. Uh, yeah, so like at the top of my like limp folding range, uh, I will definitely just be uh, min raising those hands versus fish. Even at the bottom of my limp calling range, like the bottom of my limp calling range, I'll be oh, min raising those hands versus fish as well. Jack, do you flat limp flat versus mini ISO versus readless fish for 18 to 25 big blinds with hands like jack four off to jack six off, queen two off to queen five off? Uh, I don't limp flat jack, jack four to jack six off or queen two to queen five off, but I will limp flat a hand that can make straights like 10 six off, eight six, seven six off, definitely limp flatting those. Jack, in one of your previous streams, you play versus maybe fish. He has yellow tag. There was a hand, limp 24 big blinds, flop 864 rainbow. You have 82 offsuit and you limp C bet flop. He has 65% fold versus limp C bet and 0% probe, 0 to 6 hands. You said that because he has 0% probe, you like limp C bet on flop with 82. And if he has a big percentage probe, you like check flop. My question is, what is your thought process on this hand and why you like C-bet flop versus 0% probe? Uh, well, I mean, because you got to get some value from the hand. Like you want to maximize your value from 6x, 4x there. And if he's not going to probe anyways, uh, then you might as well just go ahead and bet the flop, right? Because... Uh, that hand does need protection. You don't want to see a nine ball or a ten ball or a jack ball like on on the turn and and the river gets ugly or a five or a four or whatever. There's a lot of there's a lot of terrible cards to to kill your to kill your action there. Try Hi Jack, wondering if you could give me thoughts on a hand. Sure. Fifty euro spin heads up. I limp flat a two point five x versus reg iso with jack seven offsuit, twelve big blinds, flop ace jack three. Check, check. Turn, 10. Bet, call. River, 2. He jams. Not sure what to do here as Jack X top of my range besides Jack 10. However, expect almost all his air to check to, to see bet ace XX flop. So unsure if I have to call to defend myself or easy exploring fold. Thanks. I would definitely call there, Mr. Atom Divida. And it depends what kind of reg you're playing. I mean, if you're playing a terrible reg, uh, then yeah, he, he's going he's gonna to only have strong hands when he checks that flop. But if you're playing a half-decent reg, he's going he's gonna to balance that range and have some garbage in there as well. Just because he knows you're going to be thinking that way as well.